Folks, um, today <clears throat> I would like to talk to you on the topic, did I create a God of my own? If I have accidentally created one or gave you the impression, I want to totally destroy that. The only thing that I know about myself is I am the eternal unknown. As I said in my video earlier, <clears throat> I do not find an existing word for this eternal unknown. But I described what I mean by eternal unknown. Something that cannot be described forever. That's what I meant by eternal unknown. <clears throat> I want to go through summary of earlier videos and clarify if you have got the impression that I created a God of my own, <clears throat> I would like to totally <clears throat> destroy that. First, let's take the waking state. I said Everything that you know about this world <clears throat> comes through the instrument. The five senses together is one such instrument. The mind is another instrument. Microscope, telescope and everything else that people, scientists use are <clears throat> additional instruments. I said, as any scientist will agree, not every scientist, but the real scientist will agree, <clears throat> you can verify this yourself, that <clears throat> what you see through an instrument, for example, microscope, is what the instrument transforms, transforms or maps or converts something yet to be discovered, something unknown, to the form that your eyes or five senses and mind can comprehend. This is true not only for the instrument that is known at this point, but any instrument that will be invented in the future. Everything that you know about yourself, I have been saying in my earlier videos, is what you hear from others in the waking state, both alive like human beings, other books, other things like rock or whatever, anything in the nature. If you totally understand this, clearly understand this, then you will know that you are the eternal unknown. It is nothing that you know about you except through a, an outside agency, through an instrument. So in a waking state, I am the eternal unknown. 
also said there are energies like the five the energies associated with the five chakras or five senses and the energy associated with the sixth chakra or the mental center and the seventh chakra which is closed for all human beings in the waking state these are all energies which behave or which appear to be acting receiving manipulating what is known in the world in the waking state on your behalf i said on your behalf or on my behalf because if you consider all these energies are nothing but instruments then and also by the fact that everything that all these energies are doing you are associating those activities to you by using the word i in english and as a similar word in other languages so i said you perform an activity or you appear to be performing an activity because the energies in front of you are performing the activities on your behalf and you are associating those activities with you but if you eliminate every all those activities then you are an eternal unknown you do not perform any activity except through the energies in front of you the five energies of the body the energy <clears throat> at the mental center the mind center and so on. this is the waking state similar things happen in the dream state when you sleep you can extrapolate whatever i said about the waking state to the dream state and understand there also you are the eternal unknown and then let's talk about the fourth state the so called the fourth state thuriam state as hindus will call them the thuriam the world of uh, gods angels as christians and western religions will call which is beyond the human mind i reported a documented about all those things i have i found there unlike other prophets and messengers and messiahs reported in various religions i didn't find myself to be apart from a god or whatever i didn't receive all these things from my from another god which is not me everything happened as me experiencing as a as a first person not a third person like there was a god then there was there are there are words and then there is there is there was i am receiving uh, the word of god from god and so on as a third person 
I participated in all those experiences as a first person. Then I said, in every of these experiences, there is a witness and witnessed. Whenever the witness separates from the witness, the witnessed talks words. And I said, all those words are very similar to the words that you experience, you hear in the waking state. For example, in the initial state, the initial witness and witnessed, the witness said, I'm a being. The, don't wake up the darkness. That one will eat me up and I'll become dead and things like that. I mentioned in earlier videos that I did not hear any names of this witness and witnessed in any of my Turiyam state experiences, except one, the word walk. That one said after separating from me, I am walk, I am your daughter. The walk is the only name that I heard in the Turiyam state. But I said, in order to communicate to you, I used or I will use names familiar to various religions like Shiva and Shakti to denote or to communicate the witness and witnessed or observer and observed. I use the name Shiva with the three eyes because that is what Hindus are familiar with. Though I clearly said the three eyes that I had or I was told to have by the witnessed are white eye, red eye and the central one in the golden light comes from another light still. Unlike what Hindus visualize as Shiva with the two normal eyes, the only the central eye is somewhat different. I use the word Lakshmi, Saraswati, Parvati or Bhuma Devi, the familiar names of Hindus for the white light, golden light and the red light. As I said, there are different names in Christianity. So, the bottom line is, except the word walk, I didn't experience any of the names that I've been using to communicate to you. And I clearly said in my video <clears throat> that all these states of me were created, dreamed by me. So they will all be dis uh, destroyed. This is an extremely difficult concept to accept by religions because almost all religions think that their gods are one of these like uh, Holy Spirit or Shiva 
Vishnu, etc., are immortal. I clearly said they are all mortal, and also they don't have any names that I've been using. I said that one thing that is common in all these witnesses is the eternal unknown. If you subtract, remove all the things that the witness imposed on the witness, like Radhi Shiva, Rishiva, Vishnu, etc., then it will be the total unknown, just like the eternal unknown in the waking state. I also likened this structure of various um, gods where the opposite exists, good and evil, life and death, etc. And also the human beings in the waking state experience of this eternal unknown to be like a tree which is the symbol used in Western religion. the tree of knowledge. And I said that the root of this tree is in the eternal darkness. By the word eternal darkness, I meant the absence of the opposite, the unknown. And I have been saying that only when you look from the outside, it appears or appears as darkness, <clears throat> but just it's that eternal unknown. It's true that in my, probably in one of my earlier videos, I might have used the word quote unquote God to mean this eternal unknown. And I clearly said that it is the eternal unknown. But in order to communicate to folks, I might have used the word quote unquote God, but that is not the God, which I mentioned very clearly in those videos, that the human beings know. But if the word quote unquote God gave you the impression, wrong impression that I have been creating a new God, I want to dispel that totally, destroy that. The only thing that I know to exist is the eternal unknown. It was in the beginning and it was the end, at the end when everything created gets destroyed. And I also said that the meaning of this avatars, I prefer to use the word model in more scientific terms or terminology, a paradigm shift, something which changes the direction of the evolution. I use the word avatar because that's what folks are used to refer to such model in the past, like Vamana and so on or the white pig, Vara, and so on. And I also said, I 
I see the presence of energy in the forehead when I talk. In one of video videos, I said, if you you should look, probably if you look at the center of center in my forehead between the two eyebrows, there will be some energy. <clears throat> I saw the presence of that energy when I talked, but that is not God. If we have been thinking about that as a God, it is an energy, exactly the same energy which I experienced in one of the Turiya state experiences as creating the golden light. I said that energy will destroy your ignorance. In fact, right from the beginning, I've been saying. <clears throat> My goal is to remove the, all the ignorances put on this eternal unknown. And free from everything known in the waking state, known in the Turiya state, known at any state. So that you will gain the freedom, total freedom. I said you are not one has no one has committed any sin. It's only ignorance. Nobody is a servant of the so-called God, as some of the Western religions will be saying. You have 100% freedom to understand what I'm talking about or reject it because you also are the eternal unknown. If what I've been saying destroys all your ignorance, take it. If it adds to Your ignorances, let me know. I'll I will clarify. But the goal is to destroy everything that you know about yourself and let you understand that you are the eternal unknown, totally free from everything. Total freedom. Folks, that's what I want to talk to you today. I'll talk to you on another important topic another day. Talk to you soon.